Hello all, welcome back once again to Delhi Hacking News Series. So today we are going to cover the top 5 hacking news which is right now trending. So first news is related to Lockbit Ransomware Group. So international operation actually takes down the Lockbit Ransomware Group. So recently, the law enforcement agencies from 11 countries, they have collaborated in a major operation which was codenamed as Kronos. So they have seized multiple darknet domain which was operated by Lockbit Ransomware Group. So this action was actually disrupted their infrastructure and hindered their ability to launch attack and extort victims. Also this serves as a significant blow to organized cybercrime and demonstration international cooperation in com combining cyber threat. So most of the people and law enforcement agencies are hoping that uh, this will be most probably taking down the Lockbit Transformer group. Actually most of the thing has been seized. And the, their website, server, all those things. Let's see how they are proceeding. Now, next news related to one of the critical flaw which was found in ConnectWise Screen Connect software. So, there was actually two critical vulnerabilities were discovered in ConnectWise Screen Connect, which is a popular remote desktop and access software. So, these flaws could allow attackers to remotely execute code on vulnerable system and also is able to gain unauthorized access restricted directories they have recently means connectwise has recently released urgent software update to address this vulnerability and users are strongly advised to patch their system as soon as they can next news is related to uh, a lot of actively exploit bug so over 28500 exchange server vulnerability to actively exploited bug so the vulnerability has been identified as CV2024-21410 and is actively exploited by attackers to gain unauthorized access to Microsoft Exchange servers. So this flaw allows attacker to perform anti-LM relay attack potentially leading to data breaches and network compromises. Microsoft has not yet released a patch but it IT administrations are urged to implement mitigation measure and prioritize patching once available. Now next news is coming to North Korea. So North Korean hackers linked to defense sector supply chain attack. So intelligence agencies from Germany and South Korea issued a joint as wide free warning about ongoing cyber espionage operations targeted the global defense sector. So these attacks are attributed to North Korean threat actors and aim to steal sensitive information and intellectual property. So defense contractors and organizations are advised to enhance the cyber security measures and be vigilant against suspicious. Now the last news is related to phishing emails. So phishing emails remain top threat as hackers targeted environment. So recently a report by Cloudflare highlighted the increasing targeting of environmental services companies by hackers through phishing emails. These emails often impersonate legitimate organizations and aim to trick recipients into clicking malicious link or divulging sensitive information. So organizations and individuals alike should be wary of unsolicited emails verify senders legitimately and avoid clicking on suspicious link or attachment so there is a bonus news last we're covering is several ukrainian medias outlet attacked by russian hackers this is a very huge news coming so this attack is believed to be a part of russian information warfare against ukraine and underscore the use of cyber attacks in geopolitical so that's all for today, stay updated on the latest security threats and vulnerability by following us and subscribing us on YouTube via YouTube. So thanks for listening, watching, have a great day.